What's up guys, this is Neurotic Penga, and this is going to be my guide on farming the Drake of the North Wind. Uh, that is not the Drake I'm riding on right now, I'm riding on the West Wind, but uh, it'll look similar. It's uh, of the same family, I guess. And uh, yeah, so where you're going to farm this mount is the Vortex Pinnacle. It's uh, in Oldham. Everyone should know how to get to Oldham by now. And uh, yeah, once you come to the Vortex Pinnacle in this bottom corner, It'll look something like this. It's up in the air. You will need to be able to fly to get here. Uh, set your dungeon difficulty on normal and fly in. Uh, this is one of the mounts like Rivendeer's Death Charger that does drop on normal difficulty. Um, so don't worry about setting it to heroic. That doesn't increase your chance of it dropping or anything. It's just going to make it uh, a lot more pain in the ass to clear the trash and get there. Whoa, getting some frame issues. Okay, we're back. Uh, the boss that does drop this mount is the second boss, so uh, we will have to clear a decent amount of the instance to get to him, but uh, honestly it doesn't take that long at level 90. It is pretty easy to solo this place. Some people were soloing it at 85 if they were geared, uh, to give you an idea on how easy it is to solo this place. Uh, but yeah, we're going for the second boss, this Altarius guy. As you can see here, he drops the mount. Uh, so for the first bit, you're just going to clear this trash like normal. Uh, it's really easy. These guys are weird. I mean, you can pull them, run into their range, and aggro them. If, uh, as you can see, I'm in his range, he's shooting lightning at me, and then you look at him, and he goes away, and you're no longer in combat. Uh, so don't worry about killing those guys. You can just kind of ignore them. They might cast at you. They might not. But just look at them, and then run away, and uh, you'll be good to go. Uh, if you want to, you can try and skip some of these mobs by running around on the outside like this. Uh, this is a little risky because if you do fall off, you get teleported to the beginning of the instance. Um, thankfully you don't die, but you uh, will have to start from the beginning and won't really have saved time. more of these mobs and then that is the first boss right there so as you can see it takes very little time to actually get there and uh, one good thing about soloing this and farming this is you got a lot of these volatile airs so depending on you know your realm they would probably sell for about 10 gold or so still so I mean it's not the best way to farm gold but it's a nice kind of added bonus for uh, farming this mount and uh, they don't drop too much trash, thankfully. It's not going to fill up your bag, so I do recommend looting these, uh, all the ads that you kill, just uh, because you can get some decent money, and you can also get some BOEs. So I don't think either of those are BOEs, but this is, uh, these are some BOE boots that I got earlier. Um, so they will sell for about 70 gold, or you can disenchant them. Okay, so this is the first boss. He su summons these, uh, you know, tornado things around the edge. They don't really matter, they don't do consequential damage at uh, this level, so if you're soloing this at a lower level, I guess you have to like run in to avoid the tornado damage and then run out and yeah, all this shit. But, you know, don't worry about it, just kill him. And uh, move on. Ooh, what does this look like? Pretty fucking boring. Uh, once you kill him, just head over to the left, right click uh, this thing, and it will take you to the next area. And as you can see, we are now here. Uh, for this thing, you only have to kill one side, so I'm just going to kill the right side. And, uh, yeah. Uh, so because you only have to have this dungeon on normal difficulty, you can actually farm it as much as you want, really. Uh, you know, within the five times an hour constraint that Blizzard has implemented. Uh, for those of you that don't know, basically you can only reset dungeons or something like five times uh, an hour. It's so that people stop power leveling, I guess, in them. Uh, but yeah. Uh, you do need to kill these like little 
young dragons, I guess. Uh, the only thing they do that you really need to worry about is put a healing thing on the ground. Uh, if you can, avoid it. Don't kill them in it. Uh, it will heal you too, but I mean, it's just going to slow down you killing them, so. Uh, yeah, and for these, you don't have to kill these Howling Gale things. Just do damage to them to the point where they recede, and yeah. If you try and just run through that part, they will push you off the edge, or bump you around and maybe get you off the edge. And obviously, if you get off the edge, you're going to be teleported back to the beginning, uh, and that is no good. Uh, so this is another one of those young dragons, just uh, kill it outside of its healing ring. And then uh, these things are weird, they put this poison on you. Uh, as you can see, it reduces your casting and attack speed and your movement speed, so it is pretty annoying. Uh, it's not really a problem, it's not going to do a lot of damage to you, but, uh, you know, it's frustrating, and if I guess you walked away from your keyboard and it stacked up a shit ton, it could actually cause problems for you, because your attack speed and casting speed would be like nothing. Uh, this, it seems like when you pull one of them, you pull all of them, uh, in my experience anyway, that's how it's been. Uh, but that's no problem, just kill them all, and uh, you'll be good to go. And these guys also poison you. Ugh. Go. Okay, and just like that, we are at the boss. Now, this boss only has one mechanic you really need to worry about. Uh, he's going to summon wind across the platform. Basically, you're just going to want to position yourself such that your debuff slash buff thing, as you can see, it's, it's green. Okay, it's weird. Okay, it's green. Uh, once it's green, your attack speed and cast speed is going to be ridiculous, as you can see. So just make it green, and uh, if you're on the wrong side of him, it'll be red. And just position yourself so that it changes to green. So that's the red symbol right there. I don't know why I'm still getting it, because he's dead. Uh, so no mount that time, but we did get this BOE, which apparently sells for like 400 gold. Uh, we got one of these boots, and we got a bunch of volatile air. And uh, yeah, so now that we're done, just jump off the side, and uh, it will, you know, whirl us up and teleport us back to the beginning so that we can reset and run again. Uh, so as you can see, it's really quick. Uh, it does not take much time at all to farm this instance, and you don't have to run back through the whole thing, which is fucking awesome. Uh, unlike Strathome, which is annoying as balls to run back through, uh, this one, just jump off the side and you're good to go. Uh, so that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.